Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is about how to get hired at Macy's or if you have an interview at Bloomingdale's. They're basically the same. Um, they typically respond to you within two business days. So the only way that you can apply is by going on the website at www.macysjobs.com or www.bloomingdale'sjobs.com. Once you do the application, sorry, you will be prompted to answer some retail questions. It's like 10 minutes of your time. Once you do um, answer those questions, you'll receive an email confirmation and someone will be reaching out to you within two days. Tips that I have um, to prepare you for an interview, just look online for common retail interview questions and answers. Of course, try to study them, not word for word, but put your own twist to it and be honest throughout the interview. If you are a college student or you're still going to school, they don't care. They really don't. But just be honest about it. Let them know. Okay, so they'll reach out to you by phone or email. Um, if they don't get you or if you're unable to answer the phone call, they'll definitely leave a voicemail letting you know that they were trying to reach you and please give them a call back at a time convenient to you. And once you see that call just know it's time to schedule an interview you don't have to rush the interview just let them know a time that is convenient to you and give it as much time as possible so that you can study and ace the interview okay so unfortunately i did not have a phone interview i had to go to an in-person interview so i showed up and I waited like five minutes for the interviewer and we went inside the recruiting room. It was okay. I already had worked for them previously and in my previous role, I had a phone interview. It was pretty easier because you're less nervous and you're just talking to somebody on the phone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but this one was an in-person interview. Um, we spoke about things we had a little conversation first and then she got into the interview questions she was really nice yes she was great and she made me comfortable even though you know you're still a bit nervous but i was comfortable during the interview process so because the video is about interviews and helping you to get higher let's get into it okay so the most common interview question is going to be asked by the interviewer tell me about yourself just be honest about who you really are your personality outside of work try to sell yourself um focus on your strengths focus on what is required um by the job description that you have applied for the reason you are there and you could be like um i like reading i like jogging when it's hot you know just something that you do in your spare time but please remember this is a this is like a conversation to break the ice so you don't have to be like all resume friendly and stuff but still try to be professional okay so before you go to an interview try to study for it try to know a little bit about the place as that is highly recommended because suppose they should ask you um tell me about macy's you should be able to be like macy's is a place where you sell da 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 you shouldn't be like stumbling and fumbling because hey this is a place that you are gonna represent you know so have your answers ready know a little bit about the store research before attending an interview okay this will help your anxiety because studying for it prepares you it's like the same questions that they're gonna ask the same questions that they have on google are gonna be asked so you can be prepared for it and you will ace your interview. You're not going to be like, uh, um, yes. And a lot of um on um is what throws like an interviewer off. You don't want to be like, um, and like, um, 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 you know, customer is going to come and, um, um, uh, you just got to be, um, you know, you don't want none of that. So it is highly recommended that you study. I know a lot like even if you're having a bad day don't try to show it even if you're nervous try to fade that shit because hey the person interviewing you they don't care about none of that shit they just need somebody to fill that position replace somebody who was fired laid off stole or done some some stupid shit so here's a position and 
if you really need this you will try to study and also during the interview try to smile a lot try to be confident in your answers even though you know you may be saying shit <laughs> try to be confident um try to connect with the interviewer um they're humans too you know even though anxiety is a thing that could take over during interviews and you might be hella nervous try to be absolutely confident try to be behave like you got this because once they see that you are confident you know you get a job tell me about a time that you dealt with an upset customer how did you resolve the issue you could tell them about a time that a customer tried to be rude or they had a complaint about the service they received and you listened, apologized and tried to provide a solution by calling your manager or you could tell them that you dealt with the situation by yourself. Cause Okay, just to prepare you guys, they do ask what are your salary expectations, try to go high and allow them to bring it down because I did not know that unfortunately and I just said so. But that's that, you know. If an interviewer is asking a question that you do not understand, ask them to repeat or rephrase the question. That is totally fine. We all are humans, okay? Don't be like trying to bluff in and trying to trying to trying to strain your brain. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know what I mean. If you don't understand something, ask them to rephrase it. That's totally fine believe me they'll ask you why you want to work here don't just freeze don't be like oh i need a job because no or i need some money <laughs> no do some research on the company tell them about their service their products something that you love put your own twist to it but don't be like oh i just need a job right now i'm just trying to get some money for hot girl summer some some shit don't yeah this is the most laid back job interview you'll ever have just try to study know the questions know the answers and you're gonna ace that interview believe me okay so why do you want to work here mention that you love the product and the service that you receive at macy's also just mention about their professionalism talk about how they greet the customers everyone is always smiling at you once you enter the store and because of these reasons you would be so happy to represent them okay so the interviewer asked what are your strengths be sure to read the job descriptions to ensure that you meet the demands of this role because if you don't you're just wasting the interviewer's time and you're just wasting your time by going to an interview be sure to entail strengths that are relatable to this job for example say that you're a quick learner this is of importance as they'll take less time to train you that you're a quick learner is a good answer because this will allow for them to spend less time training you for a new role and employers love this why spend a lot of time training somebody when you could spend like two days training they'll definitely ask you about your greatest weakness try not to deny that you have a weakness everybody does bro like just try to be honest but let it be something that you're working on. For example, you could be like, my greatest weakness is that I always try to be on the safe side. I barely take risk. However, I'm learning to, taste, to take risk because that could allow me to grow. So the interviewer says, tell me something about Macy's. You could be like Macy's Inc. is a parent company of Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Blue Mercury. Great. That shows that you have researched before coming to the interview and the interviewer will be impressed. How do you deal with an upset customer? Dealing with that us upset customer. If a customer is upset because they cannot find an item, be sure to try to be of assistance, okay? Don't try to just point them in a general direction. Be like, oh, the bras are over there no nobody wants that that's just gonna get them more upset so try to be of assistance be like oh if a customer is upset i try to listen apologize and solve this situation as quickly as possible before it escalates so for example someone searching for an item they cannot find it in the store you leave your desk and you go and assist them by helping them to find that product that shows that you are of great 
an excellent customer service going above and beyond for a customer and an interviewer will like that they'll be like oh amazing be sure to hype up the store be sure to hype up the store sell yourself be confident in your answers be exceptional be <laughs> amazing how do you define good customer service? Good customer service is that the staff is always professional, always friendly, always greet the customer, treat the customers with respect, help the customer to find what he or she wants in a professional manner. Great customer service also means that the store is well kept with adequate inventory, always neat, clean, and tidy. Why is customer service important? Customer service is of paramount importance for any business or establishment. The reason for this is it creates customer loyalty. It spreads word of mouth. Like if somebody comes to the store and they receive great customer service, they may tell a friend about it and then the friend will come to that store. The customer may spend during a visit to the store. A common interview question that is asked by interviewers. Typically retail, they'll be like, where do you see yourself in five years? If you're going to school, for example, high school or college, let them know what you'll be doing after you finish your degree or if you see yourself working there long-term. Be sure to look at the Macy's section or see yourself in a management or a leadership role. Let them know and be confident in that answer. Okay they'll ask you why should we hire you be sure to sell yourself sell 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 yourself sell yourself highlight your strengths be about your skills be about your values be about your punctuality just tell them how much you would love to represent them and that you are a great fit and you will not dis disappoint them you do the job effectively and have a high standard just sell yourself sell yourself be sure to reassure the interviewer that you possess the knowledge skills and experiences that are required to fulfill the role you are interviewing for okay if asked what motivates you don't be like money and employee discounts hence why i decided to apply for this position because hello that's not gonna get you hired okay be about goals, be about deadlines. What motivates me is working well as a part of a team, um, mentoring or coaching others, meeting deadline targets or goals. If you were asked, why, why did you leave your last job? Do not say anything negative about your employer. Don't say that the commute was too long. Don't say anything negative about your co-workers or working at the establishment as this is not gonna get you hired. For example, you could say, I loved working at my previous job. However, I have outgrown my role and I am looking for an organization. I'm looking for new challenges. How did you find this job? So they ask this question because they wanna know that you're specific in your job hunt. They're not just gonna hire anybody. So they wanna know where did you see this job? Where was it advertised? You know, where did you um, apply? So be sure that you remember where you applied for the job. Okay, so the interviewer is gonna ask you what are your salary expectations? Be sure to research salary expectations of the role that you do apply for because if you go too high you may not get the job however if you go too low they'll happily underpay you and you know that's facts right so be sure to do a little research before going for the interview or speaking to anyone if you don't want to say all of that just ask what the salary range is and then stay to the high end most entry-level positions are um, like minimum wage however I'm not working minimum wage hence you should not work minimum wage try to go above minimum wage but don't settle don't go too low because they'll happily underpay you so you come to the end of the interview and the interviewer is gonna ask do you have any questions do not say no do not say no <laughs> do not say no just try to ask some questions it will sell you definitely sell you 
it will seem as though you are so enthusiastic about this position that you want to know more even at the end so typical questions that you can ask would be like what is your favorite thing about working here how would you describe your ideal candidate for this position if successful in my interview today what would you like for me to focus on during the first few weeks of employment that shows that you are absolutely confident that you ace this interview and that you are gonna be hired which you will be hired <laughs> Okay, so Macy's is a company I have been with from 2019. So Macy's Inc. is an absolutely great company. They are the parent company for Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Blue Mercury. They sell um, their American department stores and they're all over. Macy's is a chain of department stores founded in 1858, okay? Macy's Inc. is a parent company for Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Blue Mercury. According to research, Macy's has 512 stores. That was in 2021, and it was founded by Ronald Macy's. Those are some facts that you can study, and you can study like two or three of them, so you could, you know, let the interview know that, hey, I did some research before coming to the interview. I'm so enthusiastic about this position. I am a great fit and I am gonna be hired. Okay, so for any position in Macy's, Bloomingdale's, or Blue Mercury, they're gonna ask you behavioral um, questions. They're gonna ask, what would you do in a situation if you found someone stealing? What would you do? Tell me about a time when you had to work on a goal. How did you go about it? They're gonna ask you, how do you manage your workload, about your strengths, your weakness, your availability. Try to be as flexible as possible. However, if you cannot work some days, be sure to let the interviewer know. Working here is absolutely amazing and it will be for you too. The interview process is simple and they will try to get you on board as soon as possible. Once you study, you'll ace this interview and you'll be on board as soon as possible. As soon as it's convenient to you. The training is basically two days and it's like watching a bunch of videos, they're going to clock you in. The interviews are pretty laid back. Once you study and recite the answers, you should be fine. Just research, common retail, interview questions, and answers. Those are typically the questions that an interviewer is going to ask. It's going to be the most laid back interview you ever had in your life. And onboarding is going to be so fast, so easy, and so simple. Like, if they call you today and you'll be like... Oh, I could come in tomorrow. They're gonna take you. They are gonna take you. Once you get to the office, you're gonna present um, the HR person with your two forms of identification and they're gonna put you in the system. You're gonna watch a bunch of videos for two days. You're gonna watch videos on how to deal with customers, safety procedures. Um, they're gonna tell you about the customer service, what is expected of you there, how to enroll in your 401k, so forth, so forth. So, Anyways, <laughs> that's when you get hired, which you will. Okay, so I want to thank you so, so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope this was of great help. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to anyone that has an interview coming up. All the best. Thank you and take care.